Welcome everyone to the PowerPress Weather News Report. I'm your weatherman for today. I'm Yahir. I'm going to tell you what the weather is for today. So today is going to be a nice, hot, sunny day. And it's going to be really nice for the, it's going to be really nice, clear skies and everything. As you can clearly see, a big old tree is right behind me. So um, yeah, pull up the weather chart. As you can clearly see, it's going to be really nice. But a little, a little extra hot than normal. But not to worry. Now that we're back from that weather report, make sure to be prepared for that nice, hot, sunny day. Um, now on to our camera guy. Good afternoon, Pios. Today is Tuesday, March 19, 2024. Ugh, I can't believe it's already spring. What, already? Yes, today is the first day of spring. Oh, well, at least we'll be seeing better weather, although I really miss winter. Don't worry, we'll see winter soon. But for now, let's just think about the sunny and warm days ahead of us. You're right. Well, with that, I'm Valerie. And I'm Marielle. And, and this, this is the Pioneer, Pioneer Press Springtime, springtime Edition. edition. Pioneers, this past weekend, Vietnamese Student Association member, ICC rep, and Lion Dance captain Stephen Hewn was in Phoenix, Arizona competing in a national lion dance competition with his club team, Dragon Phoenix Dragon and Lion Dance Team, based out of Orange County, California. Stephen, alongside a few other AUHSD students, competed with teams from Texas, Wisconsin, and others. Stephen helped set up and play the symbols for the performance. This Lion team works extremely hard and always gives a great performance. So proud to have our own students in this team that is a part of a national competition. Big congratulations to them. Attention Piles, are you a graduating senior and a PTSA member? Apply for the PTSA Scholarship 2024. Deadline to apply is Friday, March 22nd. Pios, this week is National Drug and Alcohol Facts Week. Here are a few important facts about them in video number two. Steven, Steven roll, roll it. it. Methamphetamine is a highly addictive man main stimulant. <laughs> Meth increases short-lived but intense feelings of euphoria, energy, and alertness. Abusing meth can lead to elevated heart rate and blood pressure, organ problems, hallucinations, dental issues, insomnia, psychotic symptoms, an increase in mental disorders, mood changes, behavioral outbursts, and even seizures. seizures. Meth addiction signs include withdrawal, cravings, neglecting responsibilities, behavioral changes, and continued use despite negative effects. Drug dependency and addiction can lead to death, overdose, mental health issues, family issues, and health complications. Fourth period classes, don't forget to work on the door competition poster you have today and tomorrow to work on them. Judging will take place this Friday during fourth period and the three classes who design the best posters will win great prizes. Let's, Let's get, get to, to work, work Piles. Piles, prom tickets are still on sale till Wednesday. Make sure to turn in your contracts if you have the junior or senior package. It's $90 with the ASB sticker, $95 without, and $100 for guests. Prom will be on April 20th from 7 to 11 p.m. Join AVID's continuing informative series, the Career Speaker Series. Pios, are you interested in being a speech pathologist? The Career Speaker Series, sponsored by AVID, features Jessica Ruiz. Learn about this career on Friday, April 5th, during Pios period and lunch. Scan the QR code on the flyer or the posters around campus to hear about her journey and the benefits of her career. Hey seniors, time's ticking. The deadline for financial aid is quickly approaching on April 2nd, 2024. 
Join us for our final financial aid open lab during spring break at the West Anaheim Youth Center. Mark your calendars for March 27th and 28th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Check out the flyer below for all the details you need. Please RSVP at the csufgearup.org slash events or scan the QR code on the flyer. Today there will also be a workshop after school in room 29 from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Uh, we will be going over how to review financial packages. Hey Pios, Tuesdays with Tisha is back again this week to highlight another international student. Last time we met with Aide from Japan over at Cyprus High School. And today we're meeting Patrick from Romania who also attends Cyprus. Steven, Steven roll, roll it! it. Hi, I'm Tisha and I'm a exchange student from Thailand and I go to Western and this is Tuesday with Tisha produced by a student here at Western. Last season we brought you guys Monday with Merida where a German exchange student Marietta went around Western High School interview exchange student and this season we're producing me going around Anaheim district to interview exchange student. This is episode 3. We're gonna meet with Patrick. He's from Germany, but he was born in Romania and he got to Cyprus High School. Let's go! Luna! Luna. Hey. hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Hi guys, we are on location and here we are with... I'm Patrick from Romania. What grade are you in? I go in 10th grade, sophomore. What is the differences between Romania and USA? Uh, the cultural differences, I would say, is that the people here are... I mean, in Romania, people are also welcoming, but just in a different way than here, like I noticed. And I heard that you were born in Romania, and now you moved to Germany? Yeah, I moved to Germany when I was seven. Oh, and how different between Romania and Germany? Well, it's quite a bit different, even though they're both in Europe. School, uh, everyone, almost, almost everyone wears a uniform in Romania. In Germany, uh, only like private schools wear uniform. And also I noticed like the people are kind of different. I think like in Romania, the people are more welcoming and more kind. How about like Romania or Germany differences from USA? Well, the USA is like, it's completely different. The school especially, like the campuses and the schools are so much bigger and more fun to be honest. Oh, so you like here better? Well, I think it, um, as a kid and like growing up, it would be better here. I would say as an adult, it would be better in Europe. So let's talk about food. What about food here and food in Germany or Romania? Well, food here is uh, really oily and like sugary, but it tastes good, so I I'm not complaining. What's your favorite fast food while you're here? Uh, I like Raisin Cane's and In-N-Out. They're my favorite. I like Raisin Cane too. We don't have them in Germany or in Europe in general, so I'll, I'll, I like to eat them while I'm here. And if you can bring one thing back home to Germany or Romania from here, what are you going to bring? Definitely Cane's. It's good. I want to bring Cane's back home too. And if you can bring something from Germany to US, what are you going to bring? I would say bring a Döner. It is a kind of kebab food. It's really good. It's like as popular as burgers are here. That's how popular Döna is in Germany. That's good. I want to try some. If I go to Germany, you're going to meet me? Of course. You're going to bring me to that place? Yeah. And what make you want to do exchange here in America? Well, growing up, you see a lot of like American movies with high school and all of that. That, that was definitely a part of it. And I also have like friends who are also doing an exchange program right now. They're in Missouri and Wisconsin. Why you choose America? Why don't you choose like other country around the world? Um, so I also heard that school is really fun here and I also chose California because the weather is so good and in Germany the weather is not good at all so. So what do you like about California so far? Well as I said the weather also just being here like in general and I like playing basketball here. What people say to you when you told them that you come from Germany? Uh, they asked me like about schnitzel and stuff and they also say some things about the second world war. Um, but they also asked me what we think of Americans over there and I noticed a lot of Americans here They think that all the other countries think that they're kind of stupid. Do you think Americans stupid? No, I, I mean <laughs> a bit. Wait, let me explain uh -huh. The school Go here, ahead. the school here is definitely easier than in Europe I would say But it's not that you're like stupid stupid, you know? I think school here is easy than yeah. around the world, I mean... Yeah, it's also more fun. So like here, 
the schools really focus also on sports. Um, you don't really see that a lot in other countries, so yeah. That's good. Thank you so much for today. I have fun. I learned about Romania and Germany in the same time. Can you teach me how to say goodbye in Romania? La revedere. Huh? La revedere. La? La, La revedere. revedere. La <laughs> La La revedere. La revedere. Is Kinda. it? Close enough. Again. La revedere. La revedere. La revedere. <laughs> Bye. And that's, and that's all we have for today, Pius. Today's outro song is Grenade by Bruno Mars. This song was released in 2010 and was one of his most successful and best-selling songs. And as always, Pioneers, make sure to stay connected with us on all your favorite social media platforms using at the Pio Press. Be sure to tag us on all your favorite photos and videos using hashtag Pio Press. So if you would like to be featured as a Wayback, Throwback, or Flashback, reach out to us using at the Pio Press. As always, Pioneers, we hope you have a terrific, tasteful, talented, Thankful Tuesday, Tuesday. And, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Press on, Pius.